massive stone statues of Easter Island, known as Moai, are iconic symbols created by the culture that flourished here for over a thousand years. Known by its local name of Rapa Nui, this is the most isolated inhabited island in the world, located 3,000 kilometers from the coast of Chile. Polynesians settled Easter Island around 900 AD and have always lived in close connection with the sea. Now, researchers from the Pontificia Universidad Católica de Chile and Brown University are studying how biodiversity is maintained in the unique marine habitats around Easter Island. Underwater, sunlight penetrates the deep blue ocean around the Motu Cao Cao Pinnacle, so clear you can see the length of a football field. Unique marine communities have developed here in isolation. Since species have become cut off from their source populations, newcomers rarely arrive from elsewhere, and under genetic isolation can easily go extinct or evolve in a new direction. As a result, only 125 species of fish can be found in Easter Island's shallow reefs, but of these, 25% are endemic. They are found nowhere else on Earth. Likewise, there are only 13 species of coral, and only two of these, Posilopora varicosa and Parietes levata, dominate the landscape. Coral cover has increased substantially in the past several decades, to where it currently reaches 95% in some places. Here, the coral reef is thriving. Elsewhere in the world, reefs tend to be in decline. Divers use transects to measure invertebrates and algae covering the sea floor, and use pictures and video to record corals and schools of fish. Pictures are taken of the biodiversity of vertical rock walls that can then be revisited in following years to observe changes in marine communities. The response of benthic organisms to changes in the environment can then be related to the local species pool and to the activity of grazers like sea urchins. The black diadema urchin abounds in these clear waters and is a voracious grazer, but their sharp, brittle spines can make them hard to handle. In fact, it seems that sea urchins may play a key role in opening bare space for corals to colonize. Here, they create a characteristic line or urchin front where urchins slowly forage into a bed of marine algae. Divers have also set up manipulative experiments to examine the mechanisms at work. By transplanting live corals and urchins into the middle of an algal patch, researchers are testing the hypothesis that diadema is responsible for the opening of bare space for coral colonization. By comparing observations with experimental results, the research team hopes to discover how the reefs of Easter Island function and how to ensure their future health. <laughs>